Hello, this is Early Career Academic. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thanks for stopping by. I am an academic, as I said. I'm also a wife and a cat mom and a Passion Planner Ambassador. Um, that means if you are interested in buying any Passion Planner products and using my affiliate link, which is in the description of this video, I get a small commission off of that sale. I also have a discount code for you in the description of this video so you can save a little bit of um, money buying Passion Planner products. I do always appreciate it when you guys use my um, my code in my um, in my affiliate link. It helps support my planning habit, if you will. Um, so today we're going to plan out the week of let's get the right week here. Um, April 18th through the 24th, and I apologize if you hear a lawnmower in the background. I'm super excited that it is warm this week. However, that means that it's grass mowing time. Um, and so there may be some like grass mowing interference, but I will try to talk over it. Um, so just a quick peek at the current week before I get to the, the next week. Um, this week was a complicated week for me. Um, I really loved the way that this layout worked. I liked having the little to-do items at the top here. Um, and my meetings for the most part stayed where they where I had put them. Um, however, I did lose um, a family member this past weekend. And so uh, between that and just some ongoing health issues, uh, it was kind of a low energy week is what I'll say. Um, I did get a lot of really nice support from family and friends and even my students were really considerate and kind when I told them that um, I would be, you know, a little bit out of pocket for um, for a while. So it's kind of a complicated week, um, but all in all, and here comes the lawnmower. So I apologize if you can hear all that. Um, but all in all, uh, just a, just a complicated week. I still had some good things that happened, and you know, um, um, what I will what I'll say briefly is that um, I wasn't super close with this particular uh, family member. But do have fond memories of this person, and, um, and so it was a little bit sad to to hear about their passing. Um, and you know, it definitely makes me um, it slows me down a little bit um, to to be thinking about that, and um, and as well, and my extended family as well, who are also affected. So, um, so yeah, another kind of slow, low energy week, but um, me I'm making my, I'm meeting my basic um, obligations that I have um, from a work standpoint. I also did get around to mailing my grand, my grandfather an Easter box um, with some cookies and um, a note in it. So I'm glad that that happened. I wasn't sure I'd have the energy to do it, but. Um, that actually took place earlier in the week, so I had a little more energy. Um, also, we had like a pre-Easter dinner with my in-laws, and that actually was quite nice. Um, we got to sit outside on the deck because the weather was so great, um, and all in all, a pleasant visit. Um, and again, <laughs> sorry about the lawn mowing. Uh, I will try to film at a different time of day <laughs> next time uh, so that I'm not competing with a lawn mower. <laughs> Um, in any case, it's still Thursday this week, so there's still like several days left in the week. Um, and I'm still, uh, you know, working through some of my to-do items. Also, this coming Sunday, if you're interested, I do have a podcast dropping a really great interview with a friend of mine. Um, and the link to that is in the description of this video, so I encourage you to give it a listen. Um, also, I'm going to be cooking an Easter dinner for my immediate family, and so um, I'm just, I'm looking forward to that. Um, I also just wanted to, before we move on, say sometimes, you know, you aren't doing the things you thought you were going to be doing, but you're doing more important things. You know, you are, you're grieving a loss, or you're helping your sister, or you're, you're doing the important things, you know, you're, um, you're doing things that need doing, and it doesn't f maybe feel to you like productivity, right, in the in the strictest sense. Um, but that's okay. So I just wanted you to give yourself a pass if you are struggling with that, like I am sometimes. Um, and, you know, just know that you're doing really good work um, processing those other things. And, um, some, and it's honestly more important than any work, other work you could be doing. 
So let's talk about the new upcoming week. Um, and I'm excited because I have um, some really adorable stickers that I'm going to be using this week because um, Friday is Earth Day. I wanted to use these um, stickers from Passion Planner. Um, I believe these actually came in a like in a pouch, not in a sticker book. It, and I can't remember the name of the pouch, but if you go on their website, you'll see like a little sticker pack. It's much less expensive than the sticker books and it has like an earth theme, you know, on the cover. Um, and I gave most of them to my sister for her planner, but I saved this page because I knew I wanted to use it for Earth Day. So I'm like really excited to use these stickers. I've been hanging on to them for a while. Um, and I'm also gonna bring in a little bit of washi to match. And I'm probably also going to like interestingly grab some stickers from this Tools for School sticker book from Passion Planner because they have some like functional stickers that I might use for the appointments that I have this week. So um, we'll see. I, I'm putting that in the background to, to pull from if I need to. Um, and then finally, I'm going to use my um, Microline 05 um, uh, 0.45 millimeter pen for black and then this um, Tombow 873 because there is quite a bit of like this kind of peachy color going on in these stickers. So I figured that would be a good match. Um, okay, so we'll, we'll go ahead and get started. So let me just find the right, I didn't, I did not plan ahead and find the right exact washi to go with this um, sticker sheet. Sorry, I have too many things on my desk, so I'm playing a little bit of juggling. Let's take a look. I think this is too, too bright. Maybe this one. Yeah, I think this is a good one. Okay. Um, so yes, as I said, it's been a difficult week, but um, also, you know, really encouraging in the sense um, that it's kind of, it's kind of nice when you have students um, reach out to you and um, sympathize and empathize with you and, um, you know, <laughs> they told me like, take as much time as you need. It was really adorable. I thought, because normally I'm the one saying that to them, you know, I have over a hundred students and they have dynamic lives that they're leading and they have losses and um, other various challenges they have to deal with. So very often it's me saying, take as much time as you need. Um, but for them, it was, you know, it was just, I thought really sweet of them um, to, to get all those messages. So it, it perked me up a little bit. Um, so yeah, um, a little bit of a complicated week. I, I do feel like I have more energy, at least today, um, and that is encouraging. Um, I'm a, I feel a little more, a little more energetic. I did go and get groceries today in person for a change because normally I place a grocery order um, and pick it up myself but today I went in because I don't know about you guys but like as, as much as I love just you know coming in, like placing an order and picking up my groceries if I'm planning for like an event like Easter for example I just get like kind of nervous that they won't have everything I need and um and then like I, I don't have the opportunity if I'm just doing curbside pickup to like make adjustments to the menu based on what's available in the store, right? So in this case, I went myself to, to the store. It was much busier than I thought it was gonna be for the middle of the day on a Thursday, but whatever, we got through it. And I found everything I needed pretty much. I even found rhubarb, which I don't know if I've talked about this on this channel, but I'd be surprised if I haven't. I love rhubarb. I mean, love. I love it. I will eat it any way you want me, want to give it to me. Um, so I just, yeah, I'm in love with rhubarb. And I was just happy to see it. So I'm going to make a rhubarb cristata tomorrow, not tomorrow, this weekend. Um, and I know my family's going to love that too. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, rhubarb is kind of like a long stalk that looks like celery, sort of. Um, and it's, but it doesn't taste like celery. It tastes like sweet tarts. It's very tart. And typically you, you, you bake it into a pie is how most people eat it. I've made it into compote and put it on pancakes or toast. I have um, eaten it raw. It's delicious. Or you can also dip it in sugar or 
you could um, like put it in your cocktail like a almost like a mojito type thing and then suck suck it when it's been kind of steeping in the in the in the cocktail so good so good um, rhubarb is just amazing and it grows everywhere in the Midwest like to the point where they don't carry it in grocery stores because um, they, it's just everywhere whereas here I have to get it from a grocery store so one of these days I will have a yard where I can grow rhubarb and that then I will feel like I've made it in life ah, yes okay so I'm gonna put some of my appointments down with these little um, flags. I wonder if I should cut off the flag end or the little icon end. I actually kind of like the icons a little bit. I'll cut the flag end off. Um, so this coming week, I have a few meetings, but not, not as much, not as many meetings as I had this in the current week. Um, and I am okay with that. So I don't know why I chose the exclamation point for my therapy session. <laughs> Maybe I'm telling myself something there. I'm at least telling myself not to forget that it is an hour earlier than it typically is because I am not gonna lie, I have actually forgotten what time my therapy appointment was. Like rushing to it, like still in my pajamas. Oh well, okay, my therapist gets it. I've got a lot on my mind. Um, and then I have this DCRG meeting and this, let's do another skinny label. Let's do the book label because it's technically a reading club. Oh God, I need to remind myself to actually read the reading for this. I think this is gonna be our last meeting of the semester though, so I mean, our last meeting of the semester slash reading. So um, that'll be kind of nice to like, just take a break from that. Not that I don't enjoy it. It's just, you know, it's another thing to do. Okay, um, now I have these things, but they're like a little, they take up more time. So I was thinking of like a, a bigger, like functional sticker too. Aren't these stickers cute? They're stinking cute. I'm definitely gonna like use these in a future spread. These are kind of nice and big, but a little too big. Let's see what else we got. I'm trying to think of something interesting to talk to you guys about while I'm doing this. These are kind of nice, maybe that. Or this. I just need two of them, so. Yeah, maybe these two. Okay, yeah. What else? What else? What else? Ah, maybe you'll be interested to know in what I'm planning on making for Easter dinner. I don't know if you will be, but I'm just going to tell you anyway. So I'm making a ham, very traditional. And um, also I was planning on making baby artichokes, which I love, but... They did not have any baby artichokes when I went to the grocery store, so I had to pivot. That's sort of what I was telling you earlier, which I, I can't do as easily when I'm, you know, when I place a grocery order. So let me cut this down a little bit. Um, actually, I need to know how much to cut it down. 10.30 to noon. So like the third line. Um, so yeah, instead of baby artichokes, I am going to do, I got whole carrots with the tops on because I actually roast them whole. Well, I cut some of the top off, the tops off, but I roast them whole essentially. And then um, with like salt, pepper, olive oil, sometimes garlic if I'm feeling extra fancy and it looks cool because the tops are still partly on and they're sliced you know long ways in half so they just look really cool on the plate and they're tasty I love roasted veggies it's my favorite way to eat vegetables um, and then we're also instead of the baby artichokes we're going to make 
I'm pretty sure we're gonna make a potato salad, but the Middle Eastern kind, which is a little unique because it does not involve any mayonnaise or cream of any kind. Um, so my husband makes it, and essentially it's like the boiled potatoes are the same. Um, you put olive oil, salt and pepper, lemon juice, garlic, and parsley. It's just so good. So good. It's, you know, the, the best way to eat potato salad, I would say. Um, and then I'm making the rhubarb crostata, which is just basically like a topless flat pie. It's just like the easiest way. And I make the, I, um, I kind of, um, put the rhubarb in like a chevron pattern. It looks really nice. And then, um, And then what else? Oh, I'm also going to make my grandma's um, drop sugar cookies. I actually made some for my grandpa in that box I just sent him. Um, but I uh, didn't have everything I needed to make um, the meringue frosting um, so I could decorate them more appropriately. So I actually had a, a can of frosting, which I used on the ones I gave my in-laws. But I couldn't mail those, obviously, because the canned frosting is shelf-stable and it never solidifies. Um, so I want to do it right, and I've got the ingredients now for that. Um, so I'm going to do that. I like this little people around the world. Very, like, inclusive. I enjoy that. I'm going to go ahead and stick this. Yeah. This is really cute, right? Okay, so I'm going to come in with a little more deco um, now that I've got my appointments in. I don't anticipate a whole lot of new appointments coming up here, but I'm, I'm betting I will have some student appointments booked next week because their final projects are coming up. And um, just a lot of them, you know, kind of want input from me. Um, a lot of them are doing like really unique things they've never done before. So, you know, they just they need a little more support than they typically would um, for like earlier in the class. These are just so cute, right? Like volunteer, shop wisely, unplug. You know what? I'm going to put unplug on the weekend. I think this is a good reminder to myself. To unplug. Plant a tree. And then I definitely have to volunteer one. Um, I am not myself, if I'm being honest with you, volunteering this semester um, because I um, I didn't get around to picking it uh, picking it back up after last semester. When if you guys have been watching, you know. It was um, like a really intense semester with my community engaged courses and volunteering for computer core and whatnot. And um, so I took like a break and then I was going to pick it back up, but I've been dealing with some health issues, as I said. Um, so, you know, the last thing I need to be doing is disappointing a volunteer outfit by having to like, you know, rescind my, my hours and such um, on short notice. So I just kind of wanted to get back to feeling better before I, you know, before I um, start up the band, if you will. Um, but yes, you know, there's a couple of ways if you're interested in, in a, a volunteer effort, um, but, but don't have a lot of time. There is a Nash nationwide um, blood shortage right now. So if you can donate blood, they're in desperate need of it. Um, so that's one way you could um, contribute to your community without necessarily signing up for um, kind of a regular volunteer engagement. Um, also, food banks are continuing to, you know, see increased um, in higher demand than typical. So, um, you know, even if you can't volunteer at the food bank, you could um, drop off food items or contribute financially. Um, so those are my favorite ways of volunteering when I don't have a lot of time to volunteer. Um, uh, me personally. And if you have a way that you like to volunteer or a, an organization you'd like to um, give a little shout out to, please put it in the comments of this video. I would love to know what you guys do to, um, to be a part of your communities 
um, and of course any worthy cause that you would like us to um, to take a look at uh, put that in the in the comments okay um, this is probably even more stickering than I would typically do as you guys know but I just love these stickers so much I couldn't help myself um, so first I do want to put Earth Day, just to remind myself. Um, and um, some of the the um, the things I'm going to jot down here, I think, this week are some of the ways that um, I have attempted to make my own life a little more Earth-friendly and some of the ways that I might want to, like, think about doing in the future. Um, so I'd love to know, like, if you have a running list of ways that you're trying to be a little more Earth-friendly, um, if that's, like, a goal of yours, if so, are you making progress on it? I know it's, I'm backslid a little bit this semester, but um, while I'm thinking about those things, I'm also going to jot down my basic obligations that I need to remind myself to do. Um, but for example, I a couple years ago, I think, I was like tired of throwing out you know, those plastic sponges that we typically use. And I was just like, there's got to be like a better way. And um, then I discovered natural sponges, like not the gigantic kind you see like in spas, but like like that are designed for dishwashing. Um, and I ordered them on line and they're compostable. And I'm like, oh my God, yes. <laughs> so I was like, so that's like one way that I am like happy to say um, I have made myself a little more green. Um, and the other thing that I was trying to figure out, and if you've been watching this channel, you know, it. I think it was on last year's 22, 21 for 2021 list. Um, and that was, um, let's see, sorry, I'm just trying to make sure I'm doing this right. Um, and that was, to make my periods a little more eco-friendly. Um, I was just like so tired of using tampons. Like, it, you know, I, I'd like to say it's like, oh, I was really excited about being more um, eco-friendly, but really what happened was I just started becoming uncomfortable, like physically uncomfortable using the tampons. And they're so convenient, of course, for like when you're swimming and stuff. Um, but, um, but they were, it just, it was fatiguing and um, I was like getting really annoyed. So I did try the Diva Cups, but I ordered the wrong size. I ordered the big one thing. I don't know. I told you guys this. I don't know why I thought my vagina was bigger than everyone else's. Um, but it wasn't. Shocker. And so it didn't work. And so I was like, oh damn. And so before I like reinvested in the right size, I decided to try out period panties. And I love those things. I recommend them. They are awesome. Um, so keep that in mind if you're trying to be a little more eco-friendly and also you're just tired of doing the same old thing with your period. Okay, and then I also have an LOR, but I'm going to probably hold off on this a little bit. I think it's due in April, like, 20... Something. I'm gonna put a question mark. I can't remember. Um, so those, that's two ways that I can think of just off the top of my head. And then composting, of course, um, which I have the luck of living somewhere where um, there's a like a city compost, like an industrial composting center, and that means I can compost like pretty much anything organic. But I do have to drop it off myself um, because there's no pickup. So that's the only thing that stops me sometimes. So if I think I won't have time, then, um, then I hold off, you know, on the composting activity. And we will also need to do, oh my goodness, I can't believe we're going to be filming a May plan with me soon. Oh, it feels like I just did an April plan with me. I don't know about you guys, but time is crazy. Um, so yeah, composting, period panties, natural sponges. 
I know, like, stacked against all the stupid corporate crap that's ruining our Earth, those activities are so infinitesimal. Um, but they make me feel better about what I'm doing, at least not as contributing as much as I could to the crisis facing our planet. Um, and there are other things I want to adopt as well um, to kind of, like, again, just nab, like, you know, pull back on my, um, my carbon footprint. Um, so I'd love to know in the comments, as I said, if you're doing anything in particular or if you're if you want to try anything new to kind of celebrate Earth Day and also, um, you know, obviously um, move the needle in the direction of of more of a more Earth friendly existence. I would be interested to know. OK, so I think that's all my to do's. Let me double check um, April. So this is this week. I don't have anything super special going on that week. We do have some home projects, but John's like schedule, he's like taking like an overnight shift for someone and it's just like, ugh. so I might do some of them myself if I feel good enough, but you know, we can also like, we, we have time on that, so we can push that. That's gonna happen. This is, I'm putting a pin in the academic writing for now, um, just because of everything going on, but feeling pretty good about that. Okay, so this is next week. Hopefully this feeling of energy that I am currently experiencing will carry into next week and I will be able to kind of whew, pick up a little bit in the pace as we sprint to the end of the semester. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you um, have a great upcoming week. Happy Earth Day. And as I said, please leave a note in the comments. I love to hear from you. I love to feel like I'm not obviously just talking to myself. Um, and I just want to know what's going on with you. So thanks again for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I will see you back here next week for another plan with me and stay tuned because I will also post a May plan with me. Thank you.